Barstool Sports Advisor. America's premier sports information program with Dave El Prez Portnoy. Dan Big Cat Cats. And the source, Stu Finer. Welcome to Barstool Sports Advisors. Happy week three, happy Sunday or Friday. If you're watching this, we are your Barstool Sports Advisors. I'm here with Dave, Stu, Tommy, and Hannah. The weather girl is sick this week, so we pulled a caterer off the street. <laughs> Rico Bosco is here in the flesh, looking great. Rico, he can't pick a winner, but maybe he can pick the weather. Boys, week three, I'm going to do something I've never done before. You ready for this? I'm ready. You ready for this? I'm ready. Are you ready for this? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm guaranteeing six and one or better or your money back. Personal. From my own tout service. Wow. No other money back. But if you if you have bought the tout service, six and one or better or your money back. You like that? Yeah. I nice. love the board this week. Catsmatter.com? I love the board this week. Catsmatter.com. That sounds like pervert alert. Put one up there. Me. All right. Dave, man in the suit's having a little trouble. I was two and four last week. The Patriots getting stuffed the one. I had that every single which way. Mm. I had a money line. I had plus 380 to win one six in the Barstool Sportsbook. Download if you haven't. Uh, our, we our weather girl, our weatherman Rico has. Uh, no, weather, you had it right. Weather girl Rico. <laughs> Rico has bedroom eyes, by the way. If you look at his eyes, you want to sleep with him if you're a woman. Mm. Thank you, Bedroom Stuart. eyes. <laughs> Bedroom eyes. Bedroom eyes. And can I just ask, so Hannah's not here. She's sick. I don't think she's a Jew, but do you think she's going to she's gonna die because God's going to close the book Sunday night Yom Kippur? No. But there's a chance, right? No. We're all going to no. die eventually. I mean, anybody could die. Anybody. Anybody could, all three of us could die. die. We could all could die. the last right time now. you see us. This we're all Jews. This Yom Kippur. God closed the book. Die. <laughs> This could be the last time you see any of us. Let's get some Dante! winners, baby. Morte! By the way, for everyone at home, this is the official start of Dave Hating Stew season. So week three, we got through week one and two. Yep. Yep. Was kind of, you saw it probably halfway through week two where he was like, He's just too much, Dan. He's too much. He's too I'm much. Old, so we're here. We're there. You, so I, we, love I don't you. care. I know you don't care. I don't see you see me more than a lot of people. That's true. So just chill out. Okay. Yeah. I will. I, okay. But I'm your biggest fan. Here we go. But you, you're, you're. Be nice to your biggest fan. No, you're, you're too aggravating. Tommy, Stu, if you want to fight over that claim. Oh. It's just <laughs> okay. like I come in. I, how many square feet of the house? Yeah. And, and so I, 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 I just simple question. Just, no, I don't have time for your useless questions. It's not useless. Mm. It that like one is house. useless. I'm wondering if I can live there. That's why I'm asking you that you That's useless. In that house. That's useless. No, 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 because that's, let's say it's 5,000 square feet. I'll take 1,000 square feet. You won't even see me. That's me a lie. Me and Rico and Dude will just eat. That's a lie. I want to punch Jeff in the fucking face. <laughs> okay. You just want to fucking hit him. <laughs> Listen. This is Rico. Bad, right. Jeff. Okay. I'll kill you in Rough and Rowdy, you fat pig. Let's get to. You fucking fat slob. <laughs> let's get to our picks. All right, let's get to the games. Let's get to the picks. Let's focus here. Rams at Bills is the first pick we have. Dave, we're both Josh Allen guys. He's been phenomenal. Early MVP vibes. Bills minus two. Over-unders 47 and a half on the Barstool Sportsbook app. Dave, who do you like? Well, see, this just speaks to – I was off this past week. I, I, I just couldn't get a play to happen, both in college and the NFL. I actually – and I apologize. I did this twice somehow. But I gave out – the Eagles on this show, mm. and I thought I gave out the Rams. So in live action, I actually had the Rams. Apologies to uh, all the people out there. That's my fault. I didn't wow. realize I screwed that up. I do. Somebody has to send me my picks every week so I have them on the show because I follow them religiously. Hold on. So you gave out a pick, and then you took the opposite. By accident. You're sus. No, I didn't know I did it. No, you're sus. No, I didn't know I did it. I, that's I, you didn't know I did you're it either. Sus. You didn't know I did it either. You sus. can't I, double side. You can't double side. No, you side. can't double side. You have to die with it. Yeah. Oh, but you forgot. Have a nice send you the picks. No. Get back in your good graces. Uh, you I'll are. go to Philly and I'll give Let's me Let's get you. Davis picks, please. You're still banned. I, I block you on my phone for a reason. Um, because you're quite annoying. Okay. Um, Wait, Rams and Bills. You, you answer me when I text you, though. Wrong. Rams and Bills. I like the Bills here. Uh, I think the Eagles suck. They're the one, one of the worst teams in the league. So don't put too much pride, too much stock, 
in them uh, beating the Eagles because the Eagles are horrible. I do think the Rams are going to have a bounce back year, be pretty good. But the Bills, I'm telling you, it's Bills Patriots, Bills Patriots, Bills Patriots. Josh Allen MVP, Cam Newton MVP, 6 1, half does the other. Love Bills Mafia. I'm going to take the Bills here. Okay, Stu, who do you like in this pick? I just want to show you something. Just in case they want to cheat on my cheat sheet, they want to use me as a reverse. I circle both teams and I say, guess bitch. I just wow. Okay, what, what does Stu got? Guess God. bitch. Guess, Looks like, uh, guess bitch, guess bitch. And then the third one, eat my ass. The fourth, what, what? Wow. Okay. In this game. um, You're like the CIA, the code breakers. I, uh, How could we ever guess oh, this? No, Why would, would we ever look at your picks Stu's gonna pick to go Durant. against them? Stu's exactly, pick but I, don't, I will not let you. Stu's going to pick And I've never dull saw it in my life, by the way. You just did. Okay. People don't even know what you're doing. Are you, so are you, uh, you going to bet the Rams and just gave the bills? Or what are we doing here? Well, there's a lot of people. <laughs> no, 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 I just want to know. There's a lot of record. people who have accused you of record. people siding. That's kind of your own. Okay, moment. go ahead, Stu. Pick, pick the game. Pick the fucking game. I, I love Buffalo here. Ooh. I love the bills. I love Buffalo. It's a route. Home dog here. Rams are playing well. I gave you the Rams last week as a lock of the Not teams. a home dog. Rams are playing well. Oh, they're laying two. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let's lay the number with the bills. Lay it. I love it. I love it. I, I, I love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. Rico, give us some weather in Buffalo on Sunday. Buffalo Sunday kickoff, 73 and cloudy. You try to play. Well Rico. done. You got a winner. Yeah. That's accurate. Here we go, Rico. You got to catch this. That is oh. Rico Boston. Woo! Oh. He's back. Give me a little. Bosco! Oh, look at that guy. <laughs> What's it like Bosco Arnold Schwarzenegger? Bosco, when you were a kid, you drank a chocolate milk. Do you Tommy. Know no. no. You know what I that? I think so, this though. This is an I've open mic that. night, Stu! This is one of those times. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you, Dave. And I'm Hank's going to have to take him aside. Yes. It's Stu, it's not the Stu Finer show. Just <laughs> relax. All right, Tommy. Under Sean McDermott, the Bills have been the most profitable favorite in football. They're 11-7-1 against the spread as a favorite. That's a 61% cover rate. Mm. All right. Unfortunately, I'm taking the Bills. That means we all have the Bills. That means it's take Quaker oh, consensus. Oh, Quake. Oh, oh, here is my oh, reason. Oh, here is my oh, reason. Oh, A little thing called jet lag, my friend Davey. Oh, the oh, uh, Rams shit. played in Philadelphia on Sunday. They flew back to why, LA, why, why? and they're flying back to Buffalo. Get a practice facility. Agreed. E. Stanley Cronky, you you fucking rich fuck with the weird wispy mustache out in uh, St. Louis slash L.A. Buy them a bubble. You're a loser. Okay. Raiders of Patriots. Dave. Oh, my God. Bill Belichick in that sweater. That means business. The line is it minus. Like he, it looked like he hadn't slept in maybe six months. Minus five and a half. Over under is 48. It looks like he has been. He basically got back from Seattle on Sunday night and then spent every waking hour from that moment on watching every play that Josh Jacobs has ever had in middle school, high school, college, and he's ready for the Raiders. Yeah, and, and I, I had my emergency press conference as the Patriots lost, and again, just a killer loss on a lot of, basically a gambling level, because I had him so many ways. As a football level, as a Patriot fan, I can't be happier. I think Cam Newton looks unbelievable, just like I thought he would. I think he's a legitimate MVP candidate. Uh, Raiders coming off a huge win on Monday night. Patriots win this game. They win it big. And I'm telling you, I think they are actually the favorite to win the Super Bowl. The defense will get better. It always gets better under Belichick. The guys in slept. Also, so many uh, coaches getting fined with the masks. The brilliance of Bill Belichick is he found that loophole. It looks like he cut the mask, maybe mm -hmm. folded it under. Mm -hmm. He's wearing a mask, but it's doing no good, and that's mm -hmm. why I love my guy. Patriots big. Okay, so Dave, you have the Patriots big. You also have the Patriots as Super Bowl favorites. Let's go quickly. Week three power ranking, Stu Finer. Um, who? The NFL. <sighs> right now... I'd say that, you know, right now the best team in the, in the NFL is the Packers because Aaron Rodgers has a fucking hard on for everyone. Okay. You don't piss on Aaron Rodgers and not, and not uh, you know, pay the price. Okay. I'd say Packers are the number one team in the NFL. Uh, AFC, I'd say Buffalo Bills right now. Their defense can put pressure on you. Okay. They, and, and I think uh, Josh Allen can win the Super Bowl. So okay. I'd say right now, right, let's go Packers. Packers Bills. Bills. Okay. Packers Bills. Uh, in this game, Raiders win big. They didn't give John Gruden $100 million. For no reason. A hundred million dollars. That's almost as much as Dave made this year. Not a lot. Not really. Not really. Well, it's always on paper. 
everybody's on paper. But in this game, Raiders roll into Foxborough and just blow the Patriots out. You're gonna wonder and beg back for Tom Brady. Cam Newton, now listen, listen carefully. Two fumbles, two interceptions, Raiders by 30. What? No, 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 30, 30! Sprinkle, sprinkle outright, I mean, although I'm only giving you the Raiders. Wait, if this the Raiders are gonna win by 30, you should be more than sprinkling. I'm sprinkling. Okay. It should also be a mortal lock. Yes, it should be every uh, I have another mortal ever. lock. Well, it is a mortal lock, but I'm going to give it another mortal lock. Every pick is a mortal lock. Yes, because sir. it could be your last pick. Yes, you could all die. Can I just say something? Rico, Rico has better hands than Hannah. Mm. Look at this man. It's like webs. Absolutely. I'm in take that. Oh, man. He's incredible. Tommy. Go ahead, give us a stat. Look, Pats hate losing, Raiders hate winning. Patriots 48 and 23 against the spread following a loss. Raiders 4 and 14 against the spread following a win. Now, I will say, I'm the biggest Patriot fan there is. I don't know any stats that we're going to be throwing out of the Patriots necessarily matter since the quarterback's gone. The quarterback is gone. Belichick, though. Rico, give us some, by the way, uh, can, can I have a pencil, please? Rico, give us, give us uh, the weather in Foxborough. Foxborough? Yeah. It's Patriot weather, 78 and sunny. That's definitely not Patriot weather. Okay. Oh, and he missed it. Okay. Uh, That's just not Patriot weather. Stu. How's that Patriot weather, Rico? What? How's that Patriot weather? There you go. How's that Patriot weather? They're consistent. 78 and, seven and sunny is consistent. Consistent, okay. Well, Can I just say in something? In my opinion, yeah, what, where is Can it? I say something quick? Do you think Rico's great? This might be a Willie Patriot Pep. Weather. It might be Hannah Hoop. Willie I mean, Pep. Rico's great. That's Patriot Rico's weather. great. Who Rico, is, you're great. I feel better you being here. Who is Willie Pep? Because if Dave punches Will, me, Will, I know you'll Will, break Will, it up. Willie Pep. He Wally said Pep. Pep. Wally he Pep. said Willie Pep. Wally Pep. Wally Pep. Wally Pep. Okay, Willie, Wally. You think Rico has the best hands in this in this room? He's got a great neck. I, he doesn't have I the strongest. I think he could kill someone. Look at the size of his mitts. Look at the size of his forearms. Yeah, you want to see some Guys, strong hands? I want hands? his body. I'd kill someone. I play, I play NFL football. Oh! <laughs> well, there's nothing One more. One more. There's nothing. I'm talking about do. strong I saw hands. You, oh! I saw wow. you do 14 oh. pull-ups, and I swear to God, I was going to bet you could do two. You did 14 in front of me. It was fucking The crazy. man is strong, okay? Enough said. I'm taking the Patriots with Dave. I'm also taking the under 48. I think both teams are going to do some power running. Power running. Power running. Let's go to game three before we take our first break. Texans and Steelers. The Texans are not very good. They're 0-2. They did play two good teams in the Chiefs and the Ravens to start. The Steelers, we don't really know what they are. Great defense. Big Ben looking good. They they don't cover against a Broncos team that loses their quarterback. Stu, I'll start with you. Steelers minus four over-under is 45. Go. It's a very competitive game. This is going to be an all-out game. I want to predict something. I think there's going to be a bench-clearing brawl in this game because I don't know if you know it. The Texans and the Steelers hate each other. No, Why? no, no, no. They hate each other. Why? Because I just said it. Okay. It, I don't need. You know, I just said it. It's like I said it. Okay. I love the Texans in this game. They're going to kill the Steelers. Uh, ben might die. Ben might be hurt more than when he had the motorcycle accident. Love the Texans mm. outright, outright, outright. Mm. But my pick is plus four. Okay. My tip. All right, Tommy, here we go. Tommy, quick, quick, quick. Fuck. Oh, oh my God! Not Rico's good hands. Not better hands. No, I not good hands. Rico's low, 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 Two positions? Two positions. I know you know about that. I know. Hey, listen, listen. I do whatever it takes. Pervert alert. Pervert <laughs> alert. Rico, what is the weather going to be like in Pittsburgh on Sunday? Pittsburgh, Sunday, kickoff. 80 and sunny. 80 and sunny, Pittsburgh. There we go. Tommy. Steeler weather. I'm beautiful Steeler weather, yeah. Hard nosed Steeler weather. No. <laughs> See the end of all the right moves? Steelers thrive in the rain. Okay, go ahead. I'm breaking out the undefeated golden book of stats for the Texans here. Since 2016, teams that start 0-2 but finished 500 or better the year before are 10-0 against the spread in week three. Whoa! Amazing. That's a nice stat. Yeah, I dug deep for that Unbelievable. one. Unbelievable. I still don't give a fuck. I'm taking the Steelers. I think the Texans actually stink. Everyone talks about how, oh, the Texans played the Ravens, the Texans played the Chiefs. I think the Texans just stink. And I think the Steelers are actually good. I actually put a future on the Steelers at the Barstool Sportsbook app. I think it was what? They had a boosted odd on the Steelers to win the Super Bowl. I think it was, I think it was 55 to 1. Here, here's it what? It was 55 to 1. And I put that down. You can do that right now because I love the Steelers. Dave. There's a uh, famous book, and I don't know who wrote it, but it's called The Tale of Two Cities. Uh, that would be. I know that. Know that. Shakespeare, no. No. Fucking no, don't don't, don't look it up. Hemingway. Don't look it up. No. Uh, not Hemingway. 
Uh, Charles Dickens. Charles Dickens. Yeah. Really? Could be right. Uh, nobody knows. Smart. I mean, no, smart you confirmed it, but we nobody We could have died in here before you got that right. But no, he had a blank it. look. Uh, yeah, uh, I might as well have uh, been talking uh, French. I'm a big Tom Clancy uh, guy. I like he's Tom a brawler. Uh, hunt for, hunt look, for at yeah. look at his neck. Look at his neck. Look at his neck. Patriot Games. <laughs> Patriot Games. Uh, we got any dance? Do you have any? Clear and present know. danger. I don't remember anymore. Not a big fan then. He had his name zero. That's like uh, LeBron. I'm a big fan of the Godfather. Big can't name one quote. Can't name one quote. Um, Tale of Two Cities. So the Steelers. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Here's, as you mentioned, the, the Texans have played two very good teams. The Steelers, on the flip side, have played two terrible teams. Broncos and then uh, in week one, who did they beat up on? Some the, Giants. the Giants. Two of the worst teams in the league. So you can't tell what's going on here. I went with what I heard Stu say, who is the worst handicapper on the show Facts. by Facts. Maya. What are you at Facts. right now, Stu? No, no, listen, I, doubled, seven. I doubled my win total from last week. I went exactly. from one to two. This right. week I go four, but, next week I go five. I measure my success by the decade. You're generally Remember right. that. No, no, the decade. Can I talk? Yes. yes. Am I allowed to talk? Yes. You, he, wait one sec. He generally no, has 20 to 30% of what he does. Fact. So he's going to go against. I like the Texans before he opened his mouth. Tommy gave me that stat, which was impressive. I have the Steelers. I'm hot. I'm going to go with the Texans. Wow. Despite my better judgment that the you disrespect. just always fade Stu and you're going to be 70%. The disrespect. So I'm it's the only the one on the Steelers. The I love it. I went with the stat. Oh, can't I went wait with the next stat. Did you remember? I'm sweeping this week. Yeah, I'm sweeping. Yeah. Get yeah. out the broom. Did you remember I said what? I was going 6 have you been or better? Yes. Okay, so you're just hoping that's the one? Well, it was a stat. It was okay. a Tommy you're stat. just hoping that's I, the have one. Have you been... Have you had a winning week in, we've done this, what, 8, 36, 40 weeks? Have you had a winning week yet? What do you mean? Last what? year I ran a 16 and 2 run. I was the best on the show. I'm, I've won the Mortal Locks. We've entered I've Stu won World. the Mortal Locks back to this, back this years. This is Stu World. Just mm -hmm. listen, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, the stats are right own here, it. Mm -hmm. Listen, own it. I'm the Mortal Lock King. Until you... Did you just fought? Stu, I'm, I'm the Mortal Lock King. I'm 3-0 and to this year on Mortal Locks. No, no, no. But wait until the end of the year. So, I'll no, be no, the let, Let's give a quick update of stats here for the Mortal Lock King. This On the year, Dave 2-0, and Big Cat 3-0, and Stu 0-2. <laughs> it's not you, the it's Mortal not Lock King, start, friend. It's where you finish. Everything you say Listen, means nothing. September oh. is amateur hour. Anybody oh. can throw the dart in September. But okay. you do the same. This is preseason still. For two years straight. Let's, wait until next week. Let's take when a break. When I go 6-0, and we'll see. Let's take a break. When we come back we will get to the next two games and we'll go to our mortal locks where Stu is the mortal lock king 100% 100% 0% 0% uh, zero percent. Mortal lock king. we'll be back right after this more Barstool Sports Advisors Hungry Dog Starts Quick that's not the saying it's Hungry Dogs Run Fast I just now. made the saying no you can't change I'm the saying I'm changing everything that's not the saying my world you're just Hey, that's me, PFT Commenter, playing guitar. I'm also the sideline reporter for Stool Streams Jenga every Monday. Download the Play Barstool app now, and you can enter our $25,000 NFL contest for Sunday and our Stool Streams contest this Monday afternoon, featuring our biggest jackpot ever, $2,500. Download the app and make your picks now. Love you guys. got a bunch of gambling options out there, a bunch of gambling companies. The only one that was founded by gamblers, Barstool Sports. Yes! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! Yes! Bet, 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 bet. We know what makes you tick because it makes me tick. Shut up! <laughs> We're authentic gamblers. I eat, sleep, gamble. No! We created gambling. Good morning. This is a company filled with people who love sports gambling just like us. Download the Barstool Sportsbook app, gamble with the real gamblers, win with us, lose with us, no, win with us.
If you are not in Pennsylvania Sunday betting with Penn Gaming, betting at the Boston Sportsbook, what are you doing? Sunday night NFL game of the year. You can responsibly make the biggest bet of your life, the biggest bet of your life responsibly and win big it's my sunday night game of the year get over to stewfighter.com send it in one game one game one game sunday night game of the year only once a year here it is change your life bet responsibly but make the biggest bet of your life ready to roll ready to roll ready to roll we're back, Barstool Sports Advisors. We got two more games to get to before our mortal locks. Two huge games, two great games. We have a great slate. I'm so excited for Sunday. Cowboys at Seahawks. Seahawks minus four and a half, over under 55 and a half. I'm gonna start and say this is going over. And this is going to be points, 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 points. I don't give a fuck that it's 55 and a half. I actually am gonna do it, Dave. Suck my dick, I'm taking the over. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing it, I don't care. I, I wish we could go double units in, on this show. We can't, but I love this over. I love this over. I love this over. There's a lot of I people, love it over. There's a lot of people who want to make this an overs club game, but we got to get the jackets out. That's the only gotta reason we're hesitating. To the we There's don't, a lot of people that want to suck his dick, too. There's a lot of people that want to take Pervert this alert. over. Pervert alert, <laughs> Stu. Uh, Dave. The last time I smiled was when the Cowboys kicked that field goal. I haven't had one good moment in my life or one moment of sleep mm -hmm. until that moment. Mm -hmm. The Cowboys had no business winning that game, obviously. It was very lucky. Seahawks are good. Are we going to go with the Hungry Dog Runs faster? They're both pretty full. They're both pretty full. They've got the puppy chow. I'm going to take Seahawks. You can't stop, stop Russell Wilson. Uh, nah. oh. <clears throat> it's too easy to pick. I'm taking the Cowboys. What about the over? Smart. Not touching it. Oh. Fuck, are you taking the over? Fuck yes. I'm Take on the Seahawks. Over. Take the over, Dave. I'm this on the Seahawks. Great. Take I the over. caused your loss and I won. Dave, I fucking how? Love it. I love it. Which, who's I mean, stopping who? Who's stopping who? Seahawks anyone? could stop no. the Cowboys. No. Yeah, no. maybe. Maybe. The, uh -uh. Atlanta kind of stopped them until it no. was garbage time. No, the Seahawks maybe. can't get pressure. They have no defense. No, Jamal maybe. Adams is the only guy. The Seahawks doesn't You're even thinking exist. thinking about the Legion of the Boom. No, no, they're gone. They're not maybe. walking through that door. Maybe. No. Maybe. Over. Stu. Cowboys are going to roll into Seattle. Okay? Piss on their dead owner's grave. Okay? Too He's much. Dead. Wait, come on. He's no. Dead. No. That's oh, dead. No. It's too much. Time so out. Rico, do you like that line? Too much. Uh, team off. Why is it too much? I mean. Blow the whistle. All right. Team all right. off. Team right. off. All right. Yeah, Rico. Yeah, Cowboys are going to win outright big. No, no. Convincingly. Russell who? Russell. Everybody Russell. Russell Wilson. Go back to playing baseball, you bitch. Cowboys big. Cowboys outright. This game will be a wrap. 20 point wrap. Cowboys win going away. No, this is a wrap. This is a wrap. Zeke! <laughs> I, do, Zeke. <laughs> I do appreciate Zeke! I do appreciate Zeke! Zeke! Like a choose your own adventure book was like, I'm gonna piss on Paul Allen's grave. And then we're like, technical, don't do that. Yeah. That's too much. And then he's like, actually, okay, fine. Russell Wilson's a bitch. He's nice a job, bitch. Stu. Good job. All right. Rico, you give us your <laughs> give us your weather in Seattle on Sunday. Careful with that over. 66 and rainy in Seattle. They love oh. rain. Oh. Ooh. Now oh. that is Ooh. Seattle weather. Okay. Rico. But I don't trust Rico. Why? It rains a lot in Seattle? <laughs> okay, Tommy, go ahead. Give it us does? a stat. Is he you're doing your thing? No, I, you look, never look, know. look, he. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy He's stat. doing his, I'm not crazy, but I'm crazy, but I'm not crazy. But I dressed like a caterer today and thought it was totally normal. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, Tommy. Under Pete Carroll. <laughs> Look years. at his shoes. His, he's got caterer shoes on. Like you he's got be, caterer you shoes. You should bring a little tray and yeah. hot dogs. Oh, a little hot dog wiener? Yeah, you want, you want a little... Oh. Uh, a little yeah. spinach to for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A little mushroom, stuffed mushroom for you, sir. Keep meatball, crab, Swedish meatball. Keep the crab yeah, cakes yeah, going. Keep the small talk yeah. going. I just want the food moving yeah. on. Get out of here. He looks like a mafia hitman. No, no, no. He looks, no. Like, he he looks like, like yeah. Not maybe not if a mafia hitman dresses a caterer to go then do a, <laughs> a, a hit. Go ahead, Tommy. Uh, under Pete Carroll, Seattle is a dominant thirteen and three against the spread in September home games. Whoa, like that's that. Okay. I like that set a lot. Uh, okay, let's finish up Sunday night, Sunday night, Sunday night. 
Uh, by the way, I just realized, I think I'm going to give two mortal locks. So that's eight and eight, seven and one guaranteed. Seven and one guaranteed is what I'm going to do. I just added a mortal lock in my head that I just realized I had. All right, Sunday night. We have the Packers going to the Saints. The line is three and a half right now. The over-under is 51 and a half. The Saints stink. Stink. Drew Brees. The Saints what? stink. Uh, Saints Stu, stink. you're you not even going to give a pick. I watched the game. Stu, you're not even going to give a pick, so just go ahead and tell everyone. All right, I've already bet this game, okay? I've already given this game out, okay? This is my one and only NFL Sunday night game of the year. Not the week, not the month, the year. I love this game. No, I don't like it. I love it. You're going to bet responsibly. Load up at Penn Gaming legally, bet legally, and bet responsibly. Barstool Sportsbook. Barstool Sportsbook is the only sportsbook I acknowledge. The whole state of Nevada, I don't even acknowledge because you're only going there to bet. You don't go bet? Well, go to Pennsylvania. Okay. Do, can I ask you something? Does, bar, does Penn Gaming have a brick and mortar place in Pennsylvania that you could just go in and bet? Yes. Oh, they do? Yes. Okay, because I'm going to send all my customers there. Is that okay? Yes. yes. No problem? Yes. Okay, will they take a $100,000 bet? Yes. Okay, perfect. So remember, you're going to drive or fly into Pennsylvania, okay? There is overhead, but I'm covering it with this winner. It's my NFL game of the year. What? Game of the year. The, in week three. It's the game of the year. Week three. StuFiner.com. 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 Tommy, give us a stat real quick because game of the year makes it. I I'm all out of sorts because he also said the Packers were the best team in the uh, well, NFL. Well, all the stats here say over 21 and seven in the Packers last 28 September games. The over 17 and seven in the Saints last 24 September games, and it's seven and one the last times these teams have met. Okay, and what about the weather in New Orleans? The weather doesn't matter, Dan. It's a dome. Wow! Whoa! But if you care, it's 82 and sunny outside. Ooh, nice. Okay. Nice. Dave. Bourbon Street weather. Dave. Gumbo. Mardi Gras. Dave. Grand close. Sure. Dave. So I pick. want to tell you what I'm going to do before you make a pick because it's something that uh, is important. It's important to this game. On the Barstool Sportsbook app, you can move the line. You can move the line, and guess what? I went and looked at it this morning. You can get the Saints minus three at only minus 118. Mm -hmm. Okay? Pretty good. And that's what I'm going to take because everyone in the world – thinks the Saints are terrible, including myself. And everyone in the world thinks Aaron Rodgers is going to be on his revenge tour, including myself. You have to go against what everyone in the world thinks. I'm taking the Saints minus three, minus 118. Is Michael Thomas playing? Who knows? Big factor. I mean, they looked out True. of sorts. And there does get a point in time in every great player's career where they're just dead. They're old. You can't mm. do it. It happened to Roy Jones Jr. boxing. It happened to Peyton Manning. Drew Brees is there. He was there last year, to be totally honest. He just can't throw the football anymore. Mm -hmm. He looks uncomfortable. So I'm torn. <coughs> Excuse Ooh. me. What's on your shoe, Hank? We're getting detected. Soft white. Soft white. So they wear labels? Yeah, they don't, they don't take that off. I didn't know we're a hipster organization anymore. Anyhow, uh, I got distracted because he looked like he still had the tag on his shoe. This is a classic Hungry Dog Runs Faster game. He does still have the tag on his shoe. He does. <laughs> he stole those out of his still place. On his shoe. I, I absolutely don't know what yes. is fashion anymore. He looks like his Just shoe. not it, taking the tag it, off. Looks like you're robbing the place. His shoe, <laughs> his, like, shoe look, his shoe looks like it was taken in for evidence at, you know, when he got arrested. And I don't know what you mean by off-white. Looks like Nike from here. Yeah, that's it's, a collab. That is, yeah, it's, yeah. In Hank's defense, he looks great wearing anything. Mm. I just want to say that. Yeah, no, Pervert alert. You, what, you live in Brooklyn? No. Pervert alert. I used to. Eight, 1996 old, hell, like, you know, Celtics hat that's definitely new but looks old. There's a lot of things going on over there. Mm -hmm. uh, Supreme it, sweatshirt. Is that a Supreme sweatshirt? Is what the kids call a hype beast. Holy cow, Hank. I don't He's a know hype this beast. guy. He's I, he does beast. the editing. He won't put in that picture of what he looked like when I found this kid He's on the street. He's a hype beast. He won't put in the spaghetti and the Gatorade. <laughs> no. Ripping, no, he won't. ripping tickets no, he won't. at the Museum of Science. He won't put it in. He's like a walking, uh, <laughs> high fashion, trendy Brooklyn hipster. Anyhow, back Rico's here. just losing it over there. Jesus Christ. The hardest working guy in the company. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you gave him a life, but he's still the hardest working guy in the company. I'm, just, I'm talking about fashion. That's just fashion. Uh, anyhow, 
I don't know what to do. Because there is a time, and I've been on both sides. The hungry dog fa runs faster. Yeah, but if a guy's dead, he can't run. If a dog is under the ground, it can't run at all. I tend to think that's the case here. It seems like the Saints, everything I talk about, Saints, Saints, mm. Saints, bounce mm. back in New Orleans. Drew Brees play that bad. But I think he's legitimately dead. i got to go to the Packers, even though I hate it. Wow. I hate it. I wow. hate this pick. Wow. Yeah, I hate it. No. But I think he's dead. No. I think he's done. No. I think he is done. I don't think he makes it through the season to be like a deal. I agree. I think on, he, they can't run that off. They couldn't run it last year. There was so much agree. better with uh, Big Dick guy. Yeah. Teddy Bridgewater. Yeah, Big Dick. Jameis is waiting in the wings. It's not going to happen this week. It may next because he stinks, Dan. They stink. That team they played uh, was not that good, the Raiders. It is crazy to think that if the Saints right this second said Drew Brees was out for the game, I I'm would imagine the, the line would change, and, and too, I would go to the hard other on the way. Yeah. I would go hard on the Saints. Hard on he the Saints. Is, you can't win if your quarterback is dead. And he's dead. He's dead. He's, he's done. Dead. Great career. I like him as a player. I like him as a he, He's just done. Every record in the books, but dead. dead. Okay. Uh, those are our picks for all of the marquee games. We're going to have our Mortal Locks coming up. Stu is 0-2. Just a reminder, Dave is 2-0. I'm 3-0. Our Mortal Locks coming up right after this. Ready to roll! Ready to roll! Ready to roll! I love you! I hope your life is great! I hope your day is great! I hope today is great! Listen, I'm going to make your life manageable, affordable, and you're going to feel like a winner. For $69, I'm going to give you three best bets. That's right! $69, three best bets. Three burials, three blowouts, three routes. Now listen, Bet responsibly, and really, I want you to go to Pennsylvania and bet with Barstool Sportsbook. But listen, here we go. 3-0, three, oh, three best bets, the Barstool Special, only $69. Get over to StuFighting.com, pay me, win, have fun, bet responsibly, have a great life, ready to roll. 3-0, oh, ready to roll, only 69 ready to roll. Welcome back, Barstool Sports Advisors. We got our Mortal Locks. We got our Mortal Locks. We got our Mortal Locks. By the way, if you're in Pennsylvania, our Mortal Locks will be boosted on Sunday. Oh. So get... They were last Sunday. I don't I love know it. Well, now, now we're going to have to. We're going to have to. We're going to have to. I just put myself in that, in that hole. So get it. Download the Barstool Sportsbook app. Last week, Slept I hit the board. plus 200, plus 200, and a 4-1 to one can't lose parlay that were all boosted that's good. Brilliant. That's good. So let's do our mortal lock. Stu, why don't you start Thank your you. mortal lock? Thank you, by the way. Okay. Uh, you're making me nervous. It's like you have COVID. All right. Listen, here's the bottom line. Okay. Last year, I was the mortal lock king on this show. Two years ago, the mortal lock king. So when you're looking for that one game you can unload on for free, I'm your man. I'm your go-to guy. Owen to this year. I own it. I'm not afraid to lose. I lose fucking 40% of the time. But listen... Philadelphia Eagles lay that number all day. They're going to humiliate the Cincinnati Bengals. And not only that, Carson Wentz, five touchdowns. One, two, three, four. Five touchdowns! Five, 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 five touchdowns, Eagle by 30. Carson, Eagles by 30. Mortal lock. Carson Wentz sucks. More, no, he doesn't suck. He doesn't suck. He's a great quarterback. He had two bad games. He has no offensive line. He has a suspect defense. But in this game, he puts the whole city of Philadelphia, the whole state of Pennsylvania on his back. Close down Penn Gaming! Bet everything you want on the Eagles! That was stupid. That was a stupid... No, it wasn't block. stupid. Was stupid yeah, wait, wait until Sunday after the game's over. I, I, I will. I will. I'll see you. I will. Stupid! I will. Stupid! I will. Fuck my dick! I, no, that's mine. No. Not, no. Listen, I'll bet you mine, right now more people suck my dick than children, you did. Children, children, children. I think I heard Stu say you lose 40% of the time. I do. Which would mean you win 60% of I the do. time. Which means your win rate here of 18% over the last it's three years. It's not 18%. It's 46%. And on the mortal locks, it's 59%. You win. I mean... I was eight games so under 500 been last year. I was 37 and, I was 37 and 45. Bad. Impossibly bad. I was 37 and 45. I walked down the street. How can I be the mortal lock king on the show and be impossibly bad? You're not the mortal lock king. That's how. 
I am. You, you are the. I am. You have entered actually. Figures don't lie, but lies show the figure. You have actually entered yes. a zone that you are so bad, it's an asset. Mm -hmm. That's Thank how bad. You. Yeah, yeah. Like, People listen, should face as you. As long as I'm an asset. I'm an asset. Okay, Dave, you're mortal lock. I think I have an idea what it might be. Yeah, and I don't like to go back to the well, but I got to go back to the well. Uh, first of all, again, shout out my friend Bill Belichick has outsmarted the whole mask system. Mm. Everybody is getting 100K fines. He's basically wearing a mask like this. So he has his mouth open, the mask is on. It looks like he cut it like he does with everything else. I think they come out flying. I love that picture I saw of him earlier in the week. He hasn't slept. Raiders coming off a huge win. Uh, and, and listen, I give Gruden, Gruden credit. We saw the locker room. He somehow just turned the hit, 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 hit thing into like a, a giant. The Raiders play mm -hmm. is going absolutely bananas. But let me tell you something about playing Las Vegas. And I don't care that it's closed. You don't think there's underground clubs. You don't think the girls are on the stripper poles. You don't think this has happened. They ain't getting ready for the Patriots. We got one guy in a bunker who hasn't seen daylight in, in what, 100 hours? You got another team going absolutely bananas. So I will take the Patriots coming off a tough loss. Cam Newton said it killed them that they lost that game. We also got C and D, by the way, from Cam. We'll shout out that shirt. We got C and D. That sucks. Cam, get with it. But the Patriots win. They win this game big. More to love. <coughs> Good pick, Dave. Thank you. Can I get on that blunt? I'm seven Can and I one. Get that blunt? I'm seven and one officially. My last two picks are Broncos, Bucks under, and then I got the cigar out. My good friend Joe Burrow. Remember that when he's looking Joe cool? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I gotta light it again. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, that's a nice lighter. I didn't sign up for that answer, by the way. Joe Burrow, the Eagles and the Bengals over 46. I don't know how that doesn't hit. I don't know how that doesn't I'm hit. I'm impressed that's that greatest, you're not having a coughing That's a great. That's the greatest pick I've ever made in my entire life, and that's 7-1 and one on Sunday. Wait, you just picked the Bengals as a mortal lock? Be over. Be over, oh, oh, over oh. Dave. Well, Carson Wentz is going to throw for five touchdowns, so you're probably good. Look at this. Watch this. 40 points right Watch there. Watch this. Everyone out there. When you take Stu Finer's picks, this is what you're doing. You're lighting money on fire. You're lighting money on fire when you take. I'm now. I, I have now real. started kind of a smoke. Yeah, there's a lot of smoke coming. No, from I my... think that's real. <laughs> is that real? I think real that's $100? real. I think that's real. All right, well. well that's a federal crime. Mm, <laughs> right. That's what I'm going to be doing, toys. baby. Nope, it's money is fake. Fake, money, fake. fake money. Fake. A lot of Not smoke coming crime. from this section. Yeah, you know what is a federal crime? Starting to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Quick shout out to Hannah. Feel better. Yeah. Happy brother. Happy birthday. We love you. We miss Hannah's you. Hannah, brother. let's go. Who the fuck's Hannah's brother? <laughs> Hannah's brother? Hannah's brother. It's a birthday. What the fuck? Birthday. You're such he a was coming to watch the show. You and Rico Once are Once a year, Hannah's brother comes. Oh, my God. It was his birthday. We don't have time for Hannah's brother. Yes, strap. You know what? Next man up. Come on, we got Rico now. He got, we got, he, she got Willie Pep. He's got a, yeah, he's, she got he, Willie he's in here now maybe forever. Yeah, Willie Pep. All right. That's the show. What a show that was. We're ready was. to roll. Woo!